Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. How are you guys doing? If you're having a good day, hit that like button down below. But today we have got a bunch of challenges to talk about. I'm going to be showing you the locations of the holiday trees, the fastest way to go to five of them. Also, we're going to be talking about the fireplace and how to gain a lot of XP from it. We'll be talking about the challenge for tomorrow right away so you can get a head start on knowing how to do that. So yeah guys, this video is just jam-packed with challenge info. It's an awesome guide that I'm sure you guys will find helpful. And yeah, with that being said guys, if you you do find it helpful be sure to hit that subscribe button down below turn on notifications for more of these challenge guides coming out in the near future helping you guys out with the winterfest challenges and on top of that if you want to help support me you can do so by using code the Lamaser in the item shop i get a bit of money back from those purchases and it helps out the channel and i appreciate it a ton but without further ado here guys let's jump on into it with the stuff we have to talk about today and before we get into the challenges themselves actually something i wanted to answer a question that i had been wondering personally so i I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering the same thing. Do you actually have to log in every day in order to unlock the challenges? Or in other words, say you can't log in one day and you have to skip a day. If you go to the stocking in the Winterfest Lodge to uh, get your challenges, does it skip that challenge? Will you never be able to unlock it? Well, don't worry guys, I tested this out myself. I saved uh, one of the previous challenges. I didn't go to the stocking until the day after. And as you can see here, when you go to the stocking after missing a day, once you open it up, it will simply uh, unlock both of the challenges challenges or whatever amount of challenges you still have left. So yeah guys, you don't have to worry about missing. I'm not sure exactly how that affects presents though, if you miss a present for not logging in. But as for the challenges, that's how that works. But then after that guys, let's get into it with how to uh, dance at the different trees. The challenge specifically says to dance at holiday trees in different named locations and you need to do that five times to unlock a uh, emoticon, the holiday sweater emoticon. But yeah, for this one, let's jump into game to show you the exact location locations and the quickest route from the locations that are closest together that have these trees. But first of all, I would definitely recommend jumping into Team Rumble for this um, because obviously you can use your glider redeploy and that helps you move in between the locations a lot faster. All right, guys, hopping into game here. Let's take a look at these exact locations. As I said, I have a good route to get started with these, like the closest named locations together that have the holiday trees. And actually, they look a lot similar to this. They're pretty much this exact tree. I don't think this one actually works too damn at but this is what you're looking for at the uh, locations at each of these locations but let's just go ahead and jump into it obviously we're in creative right now to make it easier to show you but starting it off here we're actually going to go towards Pleasant Park that's a good one to start out with and what I would recommend actually starting out with uh, Craigie Cliffs I don't think actually has one of these trees so avoid that location simply go to Pleasant Park but yeah guys as you're gliding on in the specific spot for the tree as you can see is right back there so a bit in the middle of this main area near the gazebo so there you can find the tree and again simply land at it and remember to use an emote um, to technically dance at it it doesn't really have to be a dance emote I'm pretty sure it can be any emote but there you go that is the first tree right there then after that guys you're going to want to head over to sweaty sands which is a bit to the right if you're facing this way it's a bit to the right on the map that's a little bit over to the west as you can see way up there so if you're in team rumble you're going to want to get some materials to build on up and use your glider to move over there faster and as we're going over to towards Sweaty Sands. As you can see, this tree is specifically on the, um, what do you call it? I'm forgetting the name of this. Not a dock, is it? The pier, that's right. The pier, you want to land right here and you'll be able to find the tree. Again, remember to use an emote to dance at it and get that one done. And then you can go ahead and move on to the next location, which is going to be Salty Springs. Salty Springs, as you can see right over here. So we're going to be doing a bit of a zigzag. So again, start off at Pleasant Park, go over to Sweaty Sands, then over to Salty Springs, and then on to the next location, which I'll show you in just a second. But as for the tree at this location, you'll be able to find it a little bit higher up towards like the second level of the location or technically third level. But yeah, again, you can find it right here, dance at it, and then that is the third one. Then moving on, you're going to want to go over to Holly Hedges and that'll be your fourth location. Don't go into Weeping Woods. I'm pretty sure that location does not actually have one unless it's hidden in like one of the buildings. But yeah, just go over to Holly Hedges a bit to the right as you can see it over there. And also guys, one of the reasons I also recommend Team Rumble is because if the circle has happens to be towards one of these locations, you can simply just respawn and use that, you know, respawn height to glide towards one of these locations as well, which will save you a bit of time. And as you can see, the location of the tree in Holly Hedges is right over here. You can go under this little archway and there you'll be able to find it. And then the final one in this little row is down towards Slurpee Swamp. So again, skip Weeping Woods and go right over to Slurpee Swamp for the final location in this run. And as we're gliding on in here, you can see the tree is right next to the big main building right 
right there, right out in front of it, and that's the final one that you'll need in this run, but again, there are a few other locations as well. Real quick, I'll go through them and show you where they are. In case you're at one of these locations, there's one at Misty Meadows, sort of towards the riverside. Lazy Lake also has one a bit towards the center of the location, but more towards the northern side. Retail Row also has one as well, which is pretty obvious. That one is out in the open, and then for whatever reason, the locations towards the top right of the map don't really have that many trees. The only one that I'm pretty sure has one is Steamy Stacks, but since that location is so far away from the rest of the ones that have trees, I'd personally avoid that one and just go with the five locations that I showed you. But then after that, guys, let's keep it going with the challenge that is going to be live tomorrow. Just giving you guys a little bit of a preview for tomorrow's challenge because it's a very easy one. You don't really even need a guide for it, but you know, might as well be prepared for tomorrow. So basically, guys, the challenge for tomorrow is to simply search a chest within 60 seconds after landing from the battle bus. So again, a very easy challenge. It's not even really a challenge. If you're just playing normally, you're probably going to be able to get this one done. And honestly, that's the way that I would recommend doing it. Don't even worry about it. As long as you remember to get the challenge from the stocking, you'll be able to get this one done in no time flat. However, guys, for the reward, this one is another variant of the uh, skateboard or kickflip, I think it's called, something along those lines. But it is the version with the polar bear on it. So pretty interesting right there. If you're a fan of these like kickflip type skateboards, we've already had one other and then there's another one coming up later in the challenges. But yeah, it's pretty solid overall. And since it's free, you might as well go after it. But yeah. And then after that, guys, I wanted to go back to the challenge, which is warm yourself by the fireplace in the Winterfest cabin. And there's two main reasons I want to go back to this one. The first of which is that I haven't talked about it yet in a video. So in case you guys are still wondering where the fireplace is, I'll show you where that is real quick. But then on top of that, there's also a bit to talk about as in like how much XP you can get by just sitting at the fireplace. Is it worth it to just leave it at the fireplace while you're away from the game doing other stuff? How much XP can you actually get from it? Questions like that. But yeah, first of all, for the challenge, this one unlocks the uh, previous version of the skateboard, which is the, I think it's the, the one with the dog. I forget the exact name of it, but it's a pretty solid one overall. Also, if this is the first challenge that you complete that rewards one of the skateboard variants, it'll get you the 2020 kickflip uh, skateboard as well. So technically, I guess you actually get four skateboard variants from these challenges, which is pretty solid all around, especially since this challenge is very easy, but I'm getting a little bit off track. If you're still looking for the fireplace, all you have to do to find it is go into the Winterfest Lodge. So again, go to your main menu, go right one tab, and then click to enter the lodge. And then once you're in there, you can't click directly on the fireplace. You actually have to click on crack shot over here, sitting on the chair. Then once it zooms in, you're going to want to hover over the fireplace and click on that, and that will complete the challenge. So very easy to do once you know where the fireplace is. But yeah, again, as you've probably already noticed, you can get XP from the fireplace. However, did you know that there's actually a chance to get, I believe, 100 XP, 1000 XP, and also 5000 XP as like those little bits of XP that pop up from the fireplace. That's right, it came as a bit of a surprise for me, and I tried to record the 1000 and 5000 ones. It's pretty random, and those are not nearly as common as the other ones. But you can see right here that I got a 100 XP bonus, which is a little bit more rare than the 10 and 20. So yeah, it's actually fairly viable to sit here and gain XP this way. Granted, it's not like you're going to get crazy amounts of XP, but if you're just, you know, doing something else and you were going to leave Fortnite open anyways, you might as well go to the fireplace and leave it there to get your extra XP. On top of that, guys, it's also supercharged XP from what I've been able to tell. Now, honestly, supercharged XP confuses me a little bit. I'm not sure if it gives you the bonus like in-game for the next XP you get or if it's just saying it's supercharged, but I'm pretty sure it does give you a bit more time of supercharged XP for how much you earn from just sitting here and uh, watching the fireplace. However, I will say that I'm pretty sure it only awards the XP after you've played a game, so you can sit at the fireplace for a while, but I'm not sure if it actually awards the XP until after, again, you play a game. But again, I've heard different things. It's a little bit confusing how exactly it works, but for the most part, I've heard that if you sit at the fireplace for around an hour, you can get around 10,000 XP. Again, that's subject to change, and it depends a lot on if you get those bonuses, like the 5,000, the 1,000. Obviously, most of the time, you're going to get the 10 and 20, but if you get the 5,000 XP bonus, that obviously gets you a decent amount of XP just for sitting at the screen. So I don't know. It's something to keep in mind, but I wanted to give you guys a bit more info about that. So yeah, and that also helps with, you know, unlocking the further corrupted versions of the Scratch skin, which again, we talked about in one of my previous videos. If you missed that video, there will be a card to it coming up at the end of this video. But yeah, you need a lot of XP helps you uh, get the further 
further corrupted versions of Scratch, so it's something to keep in mind again. But anyways guys, that is going to be it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, if you found it helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this coming out soon. On top of that guys, you can check out some of my previous videos, such as on the left, a tutorial for how to do split screen in Fortnite, and then below that, that video about the uh, virus Scratch version of the skin, stuff like that. But again guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.